Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are going to finally upgrade my motovlogging setup. Alright guys, so some of y'all who have been following me from the very beginning when I started this channel and was a moto vlogger, um, y'all probably already know this, but uh, just to refresh in your memory and those who uh, don't know, uh, when I was moto vlogging, this isn't the helmet that I had back then obviously, I had a different helmet, but it was a similar design in terms of like a center event here, you know, all that stuff. Um, how I had to set it up was... I had to uh, <clears throat> put in the GoPro like mounting solution right here. Then I had to use a, a whole combination of different curved, you know, uh, GoPro mounts and stuff to bring it, to bring the camera as close to the center as possible uh, with my old uh, GoPro Hero 4 Silver. It was a good setup. Um, you know, there wasn't really much we can do at the time. Back then, there wasn't any anything sophisticated or anything. You just kind of had to like cobble together what you can cobble together. Um, I even had like a, a external mark, mic that I had routed into my helmet back here, somewhere in the somewhere back here near the mouth and all that stuff. But that was years ago. That was back in like 2017, 18-ish time frame. It's 2022 now. There's stuff out there now that kind of lends itself to the whole GoPro on the helmet type of thing. Uh, not just for bikes, cars, for, you know, whatever. Uh, people who do act, you know, crazy different sports or whatever. But anyways. So first and foremost, I got this from Chin Mounts. The company is actually called Chin Mounts. They make uh, helmet-specific uh, mounts that go in the chin of the helmet. As you can see in here, we got the chin mount right here. And this one, if you go on your web, if you go on their website, they have a whole list of different helmets they make chin mounts for. Not just brands, but like the the model from said brands. They even throw in a safety tether, you know, just, just in case things fall off, you, you have a safety tether. <laughs> That's basically what it is. And then here is a alcohol uh, prep pad. And this isn't really part of my moto vlogging uh, setup, but it's something I wanted to do for the helmet anyways. I got these uh, high-vis re reflective uh, graphics from the company Reflective Decals. They make a few sp specific designs. Uh, I just got you know the the basic package and it comes with a bunch of different decals that you can kind of mix and match on whatever helmet you have uh, you could even choose the color I did choose high vis or high vis yellow and then a white overlay uh, originally I was gonna do the other way around but I want the high vis yellow to be kind of more of a background type of thing with the high vis yellow on full display but yeah, so if you want to spruce up your plain old helmets, just go to reflectivedecals.com and, you know, pick out what you want. And for those also needing a better GoPro solution for your helmets, check out Chin Mounts. Let's get started. So first off, this thing is molded, or 3D printed I should say, to the exact, to the exact spot right here. Alcohol wipe to clean off this area. And while that is drying, let's chin mount it off the 3M backing. All right, right there, and you basically just press it on. All right, front vent still works. All right, there you go. Yeah. Of course when wearing it probably have to angle it a little bit I have to find a good sweet spot for it but now with this media mod from GoPro it go into settings and change the um, where the sound comes from either from the front or the rear I've watched videos of people doing moto vlogs with the rear camera like this on their helmet and it's the sound seems to come in you know pretty good so I'll probably give that a shot for a video or so if not I already have my eyes on a certain uh, a mic that can plug into this media mod, you know, and then just put the put the mic in here like I've done in the past. All right, so the decals we got 
I have these yellow ones and then the overlays that go on top of them. What's nice about these is that they're pretty much custom. They, have, they give you two sheets, you know, one for both sides of the helmet or whatever, you know, and then you could cut them and uh, resize them if you want, depending on how you want it. Uh, these right here, I'm going to cut with scissors to make them individuals first, and I'll be right back when after I do that. All right, so cut up one of the sheets. Like right now, I'm just gonna start laying these out. I don't wanna record this, because it might take a while, but I'm gonna lay these out, and then I'm gonna put the overlay on it and show you all the final part, or how, how it's supposed to look. So I'm almost done, as you can see. I, I didn't wanna go all out on putting decals on this, on, on the entire thing. Uh, I just wanted like, certain spots same thing on, on the other side next i'm gonna put on the overlays on these and yeah that should give it a little bit more pop all right and we're done check it out i don't want to record with the lights off but Lights off this white part. It looks gray, kind of like an off gray of this, but when it reflects, it reflects white. And as you can see, the other, the main decals are reflecting high vis yellow. Let's see it back here. I added this one single strip down the middle, two strips down the vending right here, and then that right there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put anything in the back. I like it. I'm actually pretty satisfied. I got a lot of leftover stuff. What's nice is that these overlays can be used as standalone decals if you wanted to. There you go. Modal block setup. It's gonna basically look like this. The last thing we gotta do now is just test this setup out. All right. Alright guys, before I end the video real quick, I wanted to say that I looked at the test ride video and I did not like how the sound was. I could hear the exhaust way too much over my voice. So, I went ahead and found a lapel mic that I had stashed away. Right here is the 3.5mm jack that plugs into the back of the media mod. And I tucked in, uh, where is it, I tucked in the wires and stuff behind this right cheek pad. And then I got the, the mic with the uh, wind guard on towards near the bottom where my mouth would be. So I already kind of tested it. Uh, it does work. Now my moto vlogging setup is ideal. So the future videos from here on out should have this setup and audio shouldn't be an issue. All right. All right. That's it. Have a good one.